Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. So this time we have talked, well last time we talked to everybody and got all of that sort of stuff sorted out. So this time we're going to go to the galaxy map and see exactly where we can go. So let's leave this place right here. Uh, yes. Oh, I didn't want to exit the galaxy map. I wanted to exit where we currently were in the galaxy map. Is that escape? Nope. It's like, uh, which one? Oh, space. Okay, there we go. And we're going to try and actually look around the galaxy map and see what other kind of stuff we can find. Because I think there might be some cool stuff to find. And there are places we can go other than the Nexus where it wants us to go. So let's try that out. Let's just start from the outside and move our way in. So, let's go to this one. Uh, yes. Oh, we have to do the traveling animation? Okay, still weird. Like, very weird. Okay. It does take a while to go from planet to planet. I wonder if it's like loading something. Anyway, we'll see. Anomaly detected. Okay, we're looking for the anomaly. At least it's not Mass Effect 2 style where you had like a million probes. It's just like, there's an anomaly. Just find Tracking out what it is. Huge mineral deposit. Yeah, let's get it. 54 beryllium. I thought you said a huge mineral deposit. Planet view. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Cool. We'll leave that planet. That's why I'm confused it does this huge animation to go from planet to planet. It's because it's like... Okay. Well, why would you do that? I mean, we, we could just do the same thing they did in Mass Effect 2. We just click on a planet and then it's like... You just look at it. I don't know. This just seems unnecessary. Anyway, whatever. Is doing it anyway. Might be an option to turn that off. We'll see. Anyway, anomaly on this planet? Basically, we're looking for minerals most of the time, I would assume. Nothing on this planet? So some planets just have nothing on them. Okay, cool. Next planet is... Uh, the next ring in would be this planet. Okay. With some weird designation. Okay. This one had a moon as well. Interesting. Right. Over here we go. And what are we going to find? It, is it going to be nothing again? It might be. Oh, this looks like a more livable world. At least looking at it. I'm picking up something. Okay. What have we got? Probes launched. Satellite detected. Okay. What about it? Oh, research data. Okay. Uh, planet view. Anything else? No. Okay. Nothing else. We'll go to system view. Assume the system is Pythus, not the planet? Yes. So it'll just tell us when we're done the system. That's good. Right, Pele. Let's have a look at this one. Okay, do the whole animation for moving over here. Oh. This has to be loading something. Because it's just really weird. <laughs> anyway. Like, I, I just don't think they could have thought this was a good design choice. Anyway. Maybe I'm giving them too much credit. Uh, let's see what we got here. Nothing on this planet? Okay. Fine. So then that's the other problem. Planets have absolutely nothing on them. Right. Uh, is that a smaller thing next to this one? It does look like it's a smaller object on that one. Okay, we'll see when we get over there, I guess. Okay. Get shot out. Yeah, there is a moon. Okay. That's cool. Right, and this one should have anom an anomaly on it. Let's see. Does it? No, and we have 100% progression. Cool. System view. Time to leave system, I think. Uh, cluster map. Okay. So we've been here. We don't know what's in Ericsson. 
We don't know what's in, uh, what would that be, Pfeiffer? Something like that? Or Pfeiffer? Yeah, something like that. We'll go to this one. I just want to see what's there. Maybe there'll be something cool. Who knows? Hmm. It's also weird. I wonder how they, what their, what their uh, argument for the movement this is about around as far as the Nexus stuff is. Could get before, well, let's see what's waiting here. Okay. What I mean by like their argument for all, all the moving around stuff is that in previous Anomaly games, you had to go to uh, a mass effect relay to move between clusters, but there are no mass effect relays here. So I'm wondering what the what the logic is. Oh, there's a black hole over here. Are we going to travel to the black hole? Is this what we're doing? This seems not to be a sensible idea. I would assume. Anyway. Right? Right? There's a light there. It just kind of went into it. Uh, okay. It's a black hole. All right. Thank you. We'll go back over here. Oh, is there? It's over here. All right. Let's see what it is. Deploying probe. Tracking a Asteroid. huge mineral deposit. Yep, that's what we're looking for. Huge mineral deposits. Get closer to the system. See what we can find. We have something here. Aluminium. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go to the system view. And let's have a look around. So, Corvath. That was definitely something in Dragon Age. Right. Let's head over here. To random planet, whatever number we're on by now. Right. And what have we got? Anything? Nothing on sensors? Okay. System view. Let's have a look at the next planet. So we'll just go to whichever one is nearest. I wonder if this animation is actually a shorter time if the thing's closer. It seems like it would be, but maybe it's not. Hmm. Okay. Anyway. Let's have a look at this planet. See what's up with it. Nothing? I'm just checking I'm right. Yeah, there does appear to be like, a, just nothing. Okay. Right. Next planet is here. Okay. Lie over here. I don't know why we're stuck to the planets we've already got here. Like, they had a whole bunch of planets they were um, on in the original Mass Effect that seemed like would do, they would be perfectly suitable like to uh, stay on. And they were like terraforming and things. But here it's like, no, if it's um, slightly too foggy, then... No, nope, can't stay there. It's kind of weird. Anyway. Uh, next one. There's probably a reason that I'm missing, but I'm just like... This seems odd. Anyway. Go over here. And what have we got? We have... Another random planet. Okay. Anything on it? I thought I saw something there. I do see lightning storms there. That's kind of neat. I mean, okay. Last planet? There must be something in the system, right? There can't be a whole system with only one deposit. It just seems weird. Okay. Also, there's uh, no magnesium anywhere. That's what we're looking for to make our, uh, like, equipment. So... We'll see if there's anything around here at all. And on this one, we have... Nothing at all. 
Fantastic. Absolutely nothing. Perfect. Uh, we'll leave the system. And let's go somewhere else. So we've got 100% there, 100% there. Ericsson. Let's see if there's anything in this system. You'd assume there'd be something in one of them. Right. Around here we go. So this is where the human arc first entered Helios? Heck of a wake up call. Oh, right. So this is where the weird stuff is. So this I'm is Habitat 7. Uh, okay, there. Probe away. Right, right in the middle of the found. weird gunk. Okay. Shuttle Let's see what spotted. it is. Drifting. It sustained catastrophic electrical damage. It has ten platinum on it. What an amazing find. No? That looks impressive. That's the research vessel Dr. Aridana informed us of. There are no life readings within. She'll want to know. Okay. And we gained remnant research data. I guess that pretty much confirms the remnant are... Well, we kind of, we kind of guessed, but... Confirms the remnant kind of caused whatever this is. Or, like, whoever made the remnant also made this. Uh, let's have a look at Vinland. Okay. And away we go. What is this one? Now it seems like it takes the same amount of time no matter where your distance is because what it did there was instead of going from place I'm to place it kind of looped us around the planet. Okay. Seems odd. Anyway. What have we got? It's down here somewhere. This thing. Deploying probe. We've got a crater. Yep. That is a crater. Well done. Crater contained XP? That was it? It says it could still contain valuable resources. Those valuable resources were XP. Okay. I mean, that's fine, I guess. I'm not going to complain. Habitat 7. We already know the stuff on Habitat 7. Let's see if we can go back there. I mean, there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to go back there, right? It's one of the worlds that we're going to, you know, go for. Or is it, like, thou shall not go to Habitat 7? I'm picking up something. Okay, we got something over here. Probes Wherever launched. that light is. Satellite detected. Okay, Milky Way research data. Okay. Is that it with, with Habitat 7? Nothing else could ever be done here? Okay. Fine. Let's have a look over here at Heli Heliond. Right. And there we go. Mm, well, maybe this one did take a little bit more time. Not sure. Oh, and we get to see the planet from the left side this time. I'm picking up something. It's this. Probes launched. Tracking okay. a huge mineral deposit. 77 aluminium. Perfect. Right. System view. And then the last one is over here in Markland. Okay. Hopefully this has everything we're looking for. I bet we don't get a single bit of the resource we're looking for there. Here. See, this one kind of loops around. Instead of going directly to it, even it, though it could have gone directly to it. Just odd. Anyway. We'll see. Nothing on it, nothing on it. Right. So we've explored everything in its entirety in about 15 minutes. Uh, there are more clusters all over the place. Like I think each of these little things is a cluster, so maybe we'll go to them later, but we're just not allowed to right now. Okay. Let's head to uh, Zhenghi. Ah, 
familiar territory. The Nexus has been here for months. Still not enough time to survey it all. Um, you know what we might do? I might survey the rest of this place. And, uh, yeah, we'll survey the rest of this place and then we'll call this its own episode. We'll see how that goes. Okay, what is this? Probes launched. I found element something. zero. Perfect. We'll grab the element zero resource. Oh, we have to go all the way over to it. Okay. That's fine. Grab some of that. Yes. I would like to acquire this stuff. Perfect. System view. And we'll just go through everything that we got. Yeah. So each um, like different cluster appears to have stuff named after a different kind of culture or something like that in uh, like from Earth. So that's interesting. Okay, let's see what we got here. Nothing. Uh, okay. Cool. Let's see what this one is. Also, I wonder whether these are all, like, properly named things. Like, um, like, they have actually been explored in, kind of, the real world. Well, not explored. Obviously, we didn't take a spaceship there, but, like, we see, like, they've seen the dots in the sky. They're like, oh, that must mean that there is a planet here. You know, we have named it this. I'm wondering whether they've used something. actual ones. So they, apparently, they did some of that for the uh, other Mass Effect games, but I don't know. We'll see. Oh, another satellite. Probes launched. Detecting there we what's go. left of a ship. That was a ship. Never mind. Well, we got a whole bunch of, like, variety of nothing there. Oh, fantastic. We can salvage all of that stuff. Right. Uh, let's have a look at this one. See what's up with that. And, okay, I put odds that this planet has nothing on it at all. Let's see what happens. Nothing. Perfect. Uh, then we have one last one, which will also have nothing on it. Let's see if I got this right. I mean that there are two things to find in each cluster. Roughly. Yeah, two things in a proper place to go. Would make sense. Let's see. And this place has... Anomaly on sensors. It's, it's anomaly, so maybe there are three things. Ooh, what's this one? Deploying probe. Anomaly found. It's a volcano. XP for volcano. Fantastic. Right. Well, I think that we should end the episode here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.